Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and in this video, I'll show you how to train a machine learning model to recognize road signs using Google's Teachable Machine. To do this project, first you'll need to use a smartphone or digital camera to take dozens or even hundreds of pictures of road signs. You can take multiple pictures of the same sign from different angles, and you can also take pictures of signs in different locations. You should start by taking pictures of at least two different types of signs. These images will be the training data that you'll use to train your model to recognize the signs. Now, note that a machine learning model is only as good as the training data you give it, so it's important to try and take pictures of signs in a variety of environments with a variety of backgrounds. Note that many of these pictures have a clear blue sky in the background, so a model trained with this data might have difficulty recognizing a sign in an urban environment or on a cloudy day. Once you've taken your pictures and loaded them onto your computer, go to teachablemachine.withgoogle.com and click on Get Started. Now, we'll walk you through how to use the website in this video, but websites tend to change and get updated pretty frequently, so if the website doesn't match exactly what you see here, don't worry, just follow the on-screen instructions. Once you've clicked Get Started, you'll see a screen that lets you select a new project either for pictures, audio, or a pose. Select Image Project, and then click Standard Image Model. Here you'll see a screen that lets you define two or more classes of objects and either take pictures of them with your webcam or upload them from your computer. Click to type in the name of the object. For example, I'm going to classify stop signs and curve signs. Click Upload to add the images for a class. You can then either choose the files from your computer, drag and drop them here, or import them from Google Drive. I'm going to drag and drop the images that I showed you earlier. It might take a while for all of the images to load, so just wait patiently until they're all uploaded. Once you've uploaded all the images for both your classes, you're ready to click Train Model. You'll get a notification that you need to leave this browser tab open while the model trains. When the model is done training, you'll have the opportunity to test it. Now, it defaults to using your webcam, so you'll need to give the browser permission to use your webcam if you wanted to do that, but we're going to be uploading files instead, so click this drop-down menu and select File. And again, you can choose an image from your computer or Google Drive, or drag and drop it to the window. Once you've added an image, the model will give you a probability that that image fits into one of your two classes. Now, if you just reuse some of these same images that were in your training data, your model should be extremely accurate. So to give it more of a test, you can try new pictures that weren't part of your training data or pictures that you found online. For example, here's a different picture of a stop sign. Now, note that even though this picture has a different background, for example, there's a house and a cloudy sky, in this case, the model still does a very good job. And while the model might have an easier time differentiating between two very different signs, like the octagonal red stop sign and the diamond yellow curve sign, it might have a harder time with more similar signs, like the curve sign and the similarly shaped and colored bump sign. For example, here is another picture that, again, has a slightly different background and includes this no stopping or standing sign, and you see the model is nowhere near as sure about whether this is a curve sign or a bump sign. So, to improve this model, we could give it more training data. More pictures of signs with a variety of backgrounds, and that include other things in the foreground, like other signs or even pedestrians or vehicles. You can always go back to upload more training images and then retrain your model. You can also save your model to Google Drive if you'd like to start a new one. This opens up lots of interesting possibilities for a science project, because you can see how good you can make your model based on the training data you give it. Also note that your model only knows about the classes you trained it on, so if you give it a completely different object, for example if I load a stop sign into this model that was only trained on curve signs and bump signs, it will incorrectly classify it as one of these two objects because those are the only two options it has. So you might want to add more classes and train a model that can recognize multiple different types of signs. You could also add a class for pictures that have no sign at all. You could also train a model to recognize other things you might encounter while driving, like red, yellow, and green lights, or pedestrians, cyclists, and other vehicles. Finally, you can adjust the parameters of the model by clicking the Advanced drop-down. We won't go over what all of these mean in this video, but you can learn more about them by hovering your mouse over the question mark next to each parameter. So in addition to changing your training data, you can adjust these parameters and see how they affect the accuracy of your model. 
For written instructions for using Google's Teachable Machine, check out the link in the description below this video. For thousands of other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.